What's good, y'all? What's going on? It's Corner Sports Net. Now, before I even start this video, Jalen Green and his and his buddy Josh Christopher, y'all don't need to film everything. Whatever y'all do behind closed doors, sometimes you need to keep it off camera. I see how y'all get down in Houston, Texas. Also, y'all call it horse playing? We never horse play like that. Y'all way too comfortable horse playing like that. I'm just saying. Now we all know Bomani Jones. He had a sports show on HBO. Got with politics, issues concerning sports. But they canceled it after two seasons. Now I watched the show, but it was a decent show. Watched it about three times. Thought it was a pretty good show. Kinda entertaining. But here's the thing. It wasn't loud talking. It wasn't people over talking people. There was nothing outrageous about the show. Those type of but sports shows, those are the ones that are successful. You got to bring energy to these sports shows today. If not, you're not going to make it. If you think I'm um, lying, look at the sports shows on TV today. First take with Stephen A. Smith. He's been number one for 11 and a half years. You know why? He has energy on there. He's loud. He's entertaining. And he's going to sprinkle in some facts. Look, ESPN just signed Chris Mad Dog Russo. They just signed him to a one-year contract extension to, to appear on Wednesdays to battle Stephen A. Smith on who can talk the loudest, who got the most hot takes. That's what drives ratings. Don't forget they had Michael Irvin on there on Mondays. He was excited. He was wild. He was saying outlandish stuff. And let's not forget Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp. The show was successful because of the energy on there. And Skip Bayless taking shots at almost everyone in the sports world, especially LeBron James. That brings viewership. People complaining about where all the good sports journalists and the good shows. Nobody wants boring sports debate shows. That ship has sailed. The world, well, seems like most people want they want Pat McAfee. They want Kwame Brown. ESPN gave McAfee what eighty-five million dollars. They bring his brand of sports to ESPN. Of course, I have to tone it down a little, but that's what the country want. And it's never going to change no time soon. Like when we talk sports at the job, we have a good time. We're going to hit you with some facts. We're going to be bugging out. We're going to hit you with some jokes. That's what sports is in 2023. All that political, sound like Troy Aikman and Joe Buck. That works well in the NFL because the NFL tries to come off as conservative. They don't want that kind of energy in the booth. Now, they do got Terry Bradshaw. He's energetic. And he's funny. He's entertaining. But for the most part, look at these YouTube content creators that talk sports. Quite entertaining. Quite entertaining. Got more freedom on YouTube to be yourself. Don't get it twisted. I watch Kwame Brown. I watch clips of Pat McAfee. I watch the Stephen A. Smith podcast. Watch a bunch. I am athlete, pivot, and that show with Mason Cameron. I'll catch a glimpse of it. Entertaining. A lot of energy. I'll let y'all later. It's Corner Sports Net.